Hey, it's Frank here with 40 Honeybee, September 14th, and we are checking on Queen Elizabeth today. That's my struggling hive. Uh, last checked it a couple of weeks ago. We've had two weeks of uh, not great bee weather, so cooler temperatures, lots of rain, and uh, very few sunny days like today. Today is a sunny day, but it's cool and windy. It's uh, 16 degrees Celsius, which is about 63 Fahrenheit. And uh, hopefully the bees are out and foraging because it's been a rough few days. And uh, hopefully Queen Elizabeth is laying. When I last checked her about two weeks ago, she had uh, just three frames of brood laid. And I was hoping she'd produce a lot faster than that. So I added another frame of eggs for her. Uh, and hopefully she's got that whole bottom brood box kicking with brood. So we'll check it out, see how our resources are doing because time's a waste. And now uh, mid-September, I got to start thinking about a mite treatment. I've already got it planned out. It's going to happen very soon, maybe even today. We'll do that in another video. But uh, And then feeding for the winter and hopefully combining the hive into one brood box so that she'll survive. So let's see how she's going at 4D Honeybee. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start on the top box here. I have lit the smoker because conditions just aren't great. It's really windy. It's a touch on the cool side. Hopefully these bees will be nice. They've been amazing, but uh, you never know. I will give them some light smoke. Hopefully that's all I need to give them. Okay, good number of bees up top here. We're going to have a look at this top bo uh, box because I need to know what they're doing for resources up here. Have they uh, filled this with honey? Have they not filled it with honey? I think what I'll do right off the bat is just separate the boxes and just give it a lift and see right off the bat if I feel like it's heavy with honey or it's not. These frames can take between, you know, probably 7 to 11 pounds of honey in them. So this is a 10 frame box, so if it has 50 pounds of honey, 60, 70 pounds of honey, I know they're doing really well. If it's very light, whoa. Okay, it's still not separated yet. It's gonna give these guys a little bit of smoke. So far so good, but they're not gonna be happy when I crack the boxes open here. See the queen excluder there, right there. I want that to stay on the bottom box because I want the queen to stay down there. So let's see if we can, yeah, okay, there's a good amount of weight up here. That's good. It's a good sign. Now I'm just going to take a few frames up here just to see what they're doing for honey stores because I'm going to reduce this box to one box to overwinter. So I'll just end up moving the good honey frames down in the bottom once it's ready. So have a look at the uh, inner lid there. It's doing okay. Decent number of bees. Now be nice if I could pick a frame right from the middle-ish here and see if it's uh, if it's got honey in it. I don't want to pull out all the frames of this hive. Okay, let's see how this frame is doing. Okay, they're building it out, but there's nothing in it. So that frame would benefit greatly from this hive getting a uh, getting fed, right? The plan is to um, to treat for mites and then feed, and then you know reduce the hive down to its winter nest. So there was absolutely nothing in that frame a couple weeks ago. They are building it out. Okay, here's a decently weighted frame. And you can see they're just putting honey along the top of it. Which is what they do when they're, uh, when they're preparing for the queen to lay. The queen lays in the middle. They put honey on the outsides. 
But I mean, that's a frame that you wouldn't really have as a honey frame in the end because it's only, you know, one third full of honey. This last two at the end should be better. Well, pretty much the same. This one's got a lot more nectar in it. It's not capped. Here you can see nectar and pollen, but again, just around the outsides, as if this were like a brood chamber frame, but it isn't. It's a honey super frame. So, I know the end one is gonna be almost all honey because I put that one in there. So I'm just gonna come back the other way here. Okay, this one's pretty heavy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this kind of changes everything. Jam-packed with brood. <laughs> Jam-packed with brood. And there's a queen excluder down there. So how in the world did a queen get up into this second box? Well, that changes everything now. Holy moly. Okay. So now we've got to continue this inspection because there's a queen up here. Okay, so we've just found uh, a, uh, a brood frame, chocker block full of brood. And I've got a queen excluder on here. So that means there's a queen up in this top box. So I'm going to keep searching a little more diligently now to look for that queen. And you know what? I'm going to have to search all the frames. I'll start on this way, on this frame. I thought maybe, for a second I thought, maybe I put the, the frame of eggs that I put in was up here, but it wasn't. It was down below. So, I'm not going to hazard a guess as to whether it's a different queen or if somehow the existing queen got out and got back up into this top box. Hopefully I'll be able to find said queens, plural, maybe, or find that it's definitively one queen because she was marked and that should help things out. It's a nice empty frame, she could be on here. Now it's funny, I didn't look at this box because I wasn't anticipating the queen. I didn't check the frame, I didn't check the lids. I didn't have a close look at the frames as I was opening them to see where the bulk of the activity was, which is usually where the queen is. Right now, I'd probably say it's over here. So, I gotta get back at it over there. If I don't find the queen in the next couple of frames, and I don't think I will. It just doesn't seem like there's queen type of activity out here. No, this is jam-packed with honey. Wow, solid with honey. Yep. I'm gonna look at this other frame just to look at it. But these next two frames should both be honey. Okay, so let's get back at look, properly looking for the queen here. Or a queen. And see what the heck is going on in this hut. I do have a true mystery on my hands. I have no idea how a queen got up here. That's pretty, these things are amazing, you know? You have such a, a, a rule book that we humans create for them. We expect them to follow it. We kind of force them to follow it. But doesn't nature always find a way, huh? Okay. These bees are getting uh, upset, but there's just no other way to, to do this. There's only, so yeah, there's a better part of four frames of brood, so a good amount of new bees coming into this box, which is good. Now we got to see how they're doing down below. Okay, now let's see. 
as far as activity where this queen might be. Lots of bees in the air as you can see. Where am I seeing the most activity around here? I'd say maybe over here. Maybe over here. Don't know. Let's get to it. It may be a honey frame, but it's got no honey in it. Very empty. Look at this thing. It's concerning. These bees should have a lot more as far as resources in this hive. Yeah, look at this, completely empty. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Another very light frame. Nothing on this frame. Wow, completely empty. Over here, pretty much empty. Mystery continues. Next frame's looking much the same. Empty. Beautiful frame for laying it. It's completely wide open. Okay, looks like brood has hatched out of this frame. You see that? Over there? It's just a little bit of brood left. So they're probably cleaning this one up. Hopefully the queen will be back on this one very soon. That's a positive side. I think that's the first positive sign I've gotten. Now this is a nice frame of activity. A frame you might just find the queen on. Take a look at it. Again, you see the brood on the outside, telling me that this is a brood frame that hatched out. This might just be the brood frame that I put in there, I can't remember. Again, a frame with brood. That is hatching out, and there's the queen right there. See her right there? So there's definitely a queen in the bottom box. And so far she seems to be doing okay. I'll check the rest of this hive though. The rest of this box here. Because she hadn't been laying very much in her first couple of weeks. Okay. Let's hopefully see some more brood down here. And then I will yeah, okay, good brood here, good brood. Good brood still being capped and on this side. Same nice solid brood pattern. Way to go, queen. Let's see what we got going on the next one. Oh yeah, another nice brood frame. Look at this. Good brood here, good brood there. Nice resources coming in too. So this queen has caught up now. She has got this box humming with brood. And this box is right for a mite treatment right now. It's good numbers of bees, lots of brood, which is gonna be our winter bees. And we wanna make sure that, that they are okay. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna close up this box. I don't wanna mess with this queen anymore. And she's doing a good job now. She began as a slow layer. Now she's doing, doing just fine. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the lack of resources in the bottom box here. Actually in both boxes, really. There should be a lot, I was expecting a lot more honey. So it just tells me that I'm gonna have to feed these bees soon. I'm gonna have to do the mite treatment first and then feed after. And that's the plan. Okay, so I'm just going to try to push these bees down enough to get the lid on without squishing them all. Then we'll get the lid on and call it a day. 